Hello everyone, uh, Alchemic here. I haven't, uh, recorded, like, a proper video in quite a while. I've been, uh, streaming and whatnot off and on, but no real, uh, you, you know, actual, like, video content, and I'm bored of streaming, so here we are. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm, uh, gonna be showing off the basics of, uh, the formula parser in Serum, which, if you don't know what that is, if you open up the wavetable letter and go to the bottom, it's this thing. It says enter formula. And yeah, so when you actually open it up, before you, we actually get into it, there's some like preset stuff. So the singles are single frames, multis are uh, full wavetables basically. So like just a saw, it's a graphed saw. Or if I go to the multis, like the first one is the icon has kick wavetable. Digital. Yeah, it is literally the iconized kick wave table, just uh, as a formula. So let me initialize this. So, so there are like presets. Um, I'm not going to go over like super in depth, but basically, the Serum wavetable editor is also a graphing calculator, sort of. So, for example, it's a little bit different, but like in Desmos graphing calculator, right? Uh, if you were to put sine uh, x, you'd expect a sine wave to come out. I mean, you, you do, but um, sort of, but it's like cut slightly. Um, not quite sure why that is actually. Um, I, I'm not like a math expert, but so if I pull up the actual uh, Serum manual, uh, you can see these four, well, th these three really, uh, are like the most important, right? Actually, I guess it's these four, but still, yeah. Uh, w, X, Y, and Z. Z for you non-Americans. Yeah, so you've got some basic constants and variable variables. Pi, E, which is um, Euler's constant. Anyway, so I'm gonna go over like the basics uh quickly so sine pi times x that's your sine wave now if you want to offset this by 90 degrees for some reason so 90 degrees of phase so this basically uh let me pull back into you do cosine pi times oh god no uh pi times x now, there's one other thing you can do. Uh, you can do like a kind of truncated sine wave, which isn't super useful, but it can be interesting for like bell sounds and whatnot. Um, you could just like probably draw this with the wavetable editor tools, but being able to expand upon it uh, for other formulas is uh, incredibly useful. So, or, or has the potential to be incredibly useful. So basically, all you're doing is replacing uh, pi in um, this expression, this sine wave, uh, with e, with uh, Euler's constant. And so what you can see it does, it makes like a slightly truncated uh, sine wave. So if hard to do this, I guess it doesn't matter. So the next one that I'm going to go over is one that uh, is very cool. So first I'm going to pull up uh, one of the wave tools I made with this. It sounds like garbage at high frequencies, but this is the kind of like super aggressive wavetable that you'd hear in. So I'm going to show you how I made this wavetable using the formula parser. So let me initialize preset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an existing wavetable. I don't remember what I used to make it initially. But uh, I'm going to grab there's Fist. I think that was the one. Uh, HP Love. Yeah, so it, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, uh, like what wave tool you use. I mean, it does a little bit, but yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the specific formula. Um, there's a few ways to do this, but uh, in which, so if I pull the manual back up, uh, so what in does is it's the current uh, 
visible waveform value. Um, and so this will, this will change it for everything. There's another uh, variable that works similarly, uh, which is select or cell, which uh, just does the current like selected uh, wave table or wave form, I guess, uh, frame. That's what it's called, the current selected frame. But so if I do in over, you don't need parentheses here, but I'm doing it anyway to make it more readable, in uh, over two. So n over n squared uh, times y. So what it does is it basically uh, like squarifies the wavetable, but not entirely. So you can see like there's still waveforms that are like pushing way up and getting cut off, uh, but they aren't like they have subtle detail that gets just forced out into the out into the open, basically. Um, if that makes sense. So. You, you've got tables like this that are just gross and spiky in like the best way possible. Like this is the kind of gross distorted wavetable that you'd hear in uh, like Minotauri or Death Step or Tear Out um, or Britom even actually. Like, uh, so this is uh, the same thing applied to Monster 8. So for another example, let me initialize the patch because stuff gets buggy uh, sometimes. So initialize preset. So uh, Swarm, the mid-tempo artist, uh, his Swarm Sounds Volume 3, which is a free pack. You should check it out. Uh, it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. But what I'm focusing on is these drum fills. So a while back, I made some wavetables out of specifically these fills. So that's the basics of making like really aggressive wavetables with uh, near the serum formula parser. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later. Yeah.